You know, the world of football is fantastic. It's full of action, it's full of stories, it's full of rumor, innuendo. And uh, <laughs> I did receive a call this morning. Somebody said, whoops, you're online. And apparently you're going back into football in a big way. Um, and I said, not to my knowledge. And they said, you're joining Hearts of Oak. And I said, no, I'm not. Um, definitely I'm not. I think Hearts of Oak are a great club. And I think that they have a future which I'm sure the owner will determine which way it's meant to go. As you know, I've been linked for a long time in terms of getting back involved with Comercia Santi Cotico. And I've said again that no, that is also not true. You know, Tumfo is my dad, it's my father in many ways. And um, we discuss a number of things, but certainly going back to Kotoko at the moment is also not one of them. I think that sports in general is going through its own renaissance. Look, Hayato has lost his seat, who would have thought? Long overdue, I know, but thank goodness that that is gone. And I'm sure there'll be changes here in Ghana as well. I mean, Kwesi, I flew with him the other day, is destined to move on to bigger things. And I'm sure that he'll also at some point say, look, I'm going to go and be vice president of CAF or something and open the door to something new. I've decided to get involved and help Ben Nunu Mensa on the board of the Ghana Olympic Committee. I mean, in what was a quite a monumental election. I think it's the first election in many years that there's not been overt political influence in the process of, of uh, elections at Congress. And Ben has won, and now he has the big challenge as to whether he can actually do the job and bring about a change in sports in general in Ghana. We have a new government, and every time we have a new minister of sports, I'm committed to helping the minister if he thinks that there's help needed. Sports in general in Ghana is going nowhere. It's been mismanaged for a very long time and requires everybody to get up and try and help if the people who are in power need any help. Uh, we've done it with rugby. Uh, we're making massive progress, massive investments at the same time. And I just love seeing everybody getting involved in sports one way or another. What is for sure is that whether it's the GOC, whether it's the FA, whether it's Hearts of Hook, whether it's Kotoko, if progress is going to be made, we cannot continue doing the same things. A different approach has to be taken to bring back investment, to bring back support, to bring back interest. That surely is the way forward. And I hope that they find it at Hearts of Oak.